that we walk round the exhibition together, like a kind of school party, and we have a look at them. The person who's on the picture, if they're here, must step forward and stand in front of themselves, like a strange dream. Down the stairs, here we go now, this is the life. Right, ladies and gentlemen, so, this is the title of the exhibition, The Books That Made Us, which is what the exhibition is all about. I believe young Jamie is with us tonight. Jamie, step forward. Drafting the idea. Jory Pico is a great writer, fantastic novelist. She's brilliant. And Honor. You hear that? Hello, Honor. Yeah. Let's step forward. Where is that picture? Where is that? Outside the hospital. Of course it is, yeah, outside the hospital. Calvin and Hobbes. Great character. And have this thing called a transmogrifier that can turn you into anything you want. The great thing about Alice's Adventures in Wonderland is. It is for anybody, for all time. It's a great book and it shows you that real life can be a strange and wonderful thing. That's the great thing about Alice in Wonderland. Sally Lockie is a big fan of this book. She borrowed it from Edlington Comp Library. I was in Edlington today. Yes, I was. They're still talking about it. They said, Sally borrowed that book. She never took it back. She never took the book back. She owes £125,000. No, she doesn't. That's good. Where is that one taken? The old library. The old library. The old library. Let me go. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go down this way now. Football, land to kids. Which I've read in my youngest granddaughter, Ireland. I mean, here we are, here we go. Uh, Stanley Cadence isn't here, but this is the rare example of a book by somebody's mother. This is the only example in the entire exhibition of a book that's been written by somebody's mother. I mean, they're all written by somebody's mother, obviously, but I mean, by the mother of the person who's recommending it. It's a kind of self-help book. This. My oldest grandson is 17. For years, he tried to get him to read Stick of the Dump. He wouldn't read it because we called it a children's classic. That's what put him off. Well, I'm the discovery of chocolate. Come closer, come closer. I lost a fight there, I Maybe the book that inspired her book is My Family and Other Animals by General Durrell. A great book. All the books by the Durrells are fantastic. And this is Mel kind of wishing she was in Corfu. She's actually at Doncaster Airport. 